3D Mark has been released for Android. Um, some of you that are into PC gaming may have heard of 3D Mark. It's a fairly common benchmarking system that's been used on PC for a long time um, and it's finally now been released on Android. Now obviously benchmarks aren't the end all and be all of how well a, a phone performs but you know it gives everyone a bit of fun comparing their device and uh, like I say with 3D Mark being a, a well known well thought of one for the PC very interested to see it on the phone. So as you can see, as it did on the PC, it plays through sort of uh, cutscenes, emulating perhaps what a game would do. Let's see if we can turn it down a little. Uh, so emulating what a game might do, we get to see in the bottom here as it's going, so the frames per second drops down to 8 there, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, so you constantly see the frames per second. It has a set number of frames it's going to run through, so it takes a certain amount of time for it to run. I assume the same as on the PC, I remember running 3D Mark on, on quite an old dated PC, and the actual test takes ages to do because it will run through every frame. until it gets to the end basically. Now you probably don't want to watch all of this, you'll be able to see it yourself when you install it. So I, I will edit through to different to different segments of it until we get to the very end with the uh, with the final score and, and analysis. As you saw at the beginning I kind of went through with that saying there's two different options. There's like a regular one which is this and there's an extreme version. So I will run the extreme at the end of this one. But uh, as I say, you don't want to watch the whole thing, you can see that yourself, so I'll skip forward. So it's still going, it's moving on through different tests. I think this might be the fourth or fifth. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I don't pay any total attention if I'm very honest. Um, so lots of, I don't know what's bouncing around in gloopy gobules, but it's doing almost 30 frames a second. Results, details. So let's just zoom us back out a little bit again. So my ice storm score was 2769. My score is low for this device. Are other apps running in the background? Maybe it's time for an upgrade. Well, it kind of is, but at the same time, this is still <laughs> still one of the best devices you can get, the LTE version of the S3. Um, but I do have, you know, I didn't shut anything down, I didn't close applications, I've got all sorts still going on. Um, the physics scored well, apparently, I'm assuming. Can I tap those? No. Demo, 16 frames per second, OS version 4.1.2. So here I am with four stars. Or is that, that maybe that's an average, actually. 39819 score, that's not very good, is it? 2769. So, uh, right, let's, can we tap that? No, let's go back. Let's run Ice Storm Extreme. That's a higher resolution, isn't it? That's why, the, so the little box at the bottom is much smaller and a bit harder to read, actually. See if you can focus on that. So once again, you don't want to see necessarily all of the uh, all of the tests. I'll skip ahead for you to the very end. So there we go again to, to the end. What have I scored this time? Two thousand and sixty-two on the extreme version. Once again, the physics it says has done well. I'm still a bit behind other devices. Interested to see the note sandwiching the uh, LTE. I wonder where the, where the regular S3 comes. So, there we go. You can 
course, then tweet your result. Oh, yeah, you can, so you can send it to Falcon. There we are. So 3D Mark for Android. Be very interested to know your scores. Do post them in the comments below. Obviously, remember to say what device you're running, possibly what ROM you're running. Um, let's not cheat. Let's not post up we'll just crazy high numbers. You know, it's, it's a useful reference for people, basically. There you go. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.